Whoa, hold on, RT, there it is, supercharged. Did not see that one. Twisted T? Twisted T. That's awesome. Look at that. Twisted T, 5%. You found? You're, are you looking for the one? I've got the dealer list, so whenever I see a no like, RT, yeah, then I go and I ask them. I'm like, "What's your VIN?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you what's your VIN? Yeah, yeah. So I found one in Quebec and yeah. two in Alberta. Okay. Borla. Borla, yeah. Yeah. Four, Catback. Four Borla mufflers. Uh, American Racing long tube headers. Four Borla? Yes. You didn't want to go eight eight mufflers? Yeah. Wow. Borla? Borla? Borla, yeah. Cat back? Four Borla mufflers, uh, American Racing long tube headers. Four Borla? Yes. You didn't want to go eight eight mufflers? Yeah. This is <laughs> the quiet system. Oh, it's the quiet system. This is the quiet system. You didn't want to get in trouble, that's why, right? It's loud now. Yeah, 100%. How much horsepower? Um, I'm going to say it's about 600. 600? Yeah. Oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, trap times in the quarter mile is about 124. 120. Hour. Wow. So that that's about... 500 to the wheels, which is about 600 of the crank. Right. Uh, is it Nag 1 tranny? Nag 1. I built that too. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. What'd you do with the Nag 1 tranny? Um, so it's got uh, nine clutches in the K2. It's nine clutches? Nine clutches. It originally Damn. came with five. It's now got nine. Yeah. It's a modified piston. Wow. Um, it's, yeah. It, I mean, the stock components on it are the timing cover and the transmission case. Amazing. That's about uh, it. I love it. This is, and the two intakes, that, I've never seen that. Intake. They twin it, intake. Twin intake. It's made by a gang, um, the guy named the guy's name was Cams. We call yeah. it Cam Take. Yeah. Cam. Um, so Amazing. Twin snorkels and um, really cool. In the wheel wells, they're six inch by nine inch cone filters. Right. So they're they're about like this long. Are they bagged right too? Up. You put the bags over them? Or? There's no bags on them. No, I just did. put new ones on it. Yeah, 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 and yeah. We just brought this thing. It'd been sitting for forever. Look at that intake. What is that? Dodge all wheel drive, too, eh? I saw it. It almost looks like a 6-1 intake. What's that? It almost looks like a 6-1 intake. Yeah. Hey, Greg, what kind of intake is that? I feel like that would be a Pro Charger intake. They seem to be more expensive than the like like makers. Yeah, that's yeah. a wrecked. Well, you found? You're, are you looking for the one? Because I've got the dealer list, so whenever I see a no guy like RT, yeah, then I go and I ask them. I'm like, "What's your VIN?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you what's your VIN? Yeah, yeah. So I found one in Quebec and yeah. two in Alberta. Okay, that's amazing. So there's only one real way to tell. Yeah, is because. In the 09 Daytonas, yeah. the EVEC comes up as Daytona EVEC, or Daytona imported seats. Right. When I, went, when I bought the car, I couldn't figure out why it didn't have an ember badge. Right. So right here, where it shows the Dodge, Okay. there should be a number plate. But there isn't one. But there isn't one. So I looked into it, Yeah. found my VIN on a dealer sheet. Yeah. They released 12 of them yeah. in 2009 as a special edition group. Really? So it's everything that a Daytona is? Yeah. Except for it didn't come with the hood decal? Yeah. And this and that side decal. That's insane. That's unique. Especially with your I love your hood. So that was after. Yeah. I, I unfortunately I tried to keep it from modifying it. Yeah. But, but I really wanted there to There you go. It. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great setup. But it's really fun. You know, that's sweet. Oh. If you're wondering the hook up there, I, I put a, a plate on it. Yeah. And the the wires they're too short to reach my uh, controller box. So. How? Uh, so what are you running? What? what kind? So I'm still tuning the nitrous. Yeah. It's running 12.1 right now in the quarter. Nice. Full, full weight. So. Yeah. 
just drag pack on the front, drag pack on the front. What kind of shot are you running on that? Uh, 125. It's big as you can go. Yeah, yeah. Any bigger, the stock fuel pump can't keep up. So Really? Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, 150 shot, it's like you're playing with either like leaning it out or something like that. So 125 is the safe bet? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's safe on stock internals. Yeah, because like, I heard the guys, boys do 150 and cooking their pistons, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if it's not tuned properly. Yeah. And then also too, depending on the fuel you use, like if you're using, like I only use pump gas. Yeah, yeah. So when you use pump gas, yeah, you gotta trust. That's the where best you, way. You gotta, you gotta, how else you gotta, are you gonna do you it? You gotta right? trust where it comes from. So I actually bought uh, some Sunoco and I mix a bunch in a VP can and yeah, yeah. put my 94 in. Yeah. And then run it in the tank. That's so, awesome. So that, it, is that the biggest tank you could get? Uh, you could get 10 pound bottles. Yeah. Um, 10 pound bottles. They don't fit like I like where my spare tire goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's down underneath. So yeah, like, yeah. You would never. You'd never know that I had nitrous, like the buttons inside, like yeah. don't say nitrous or anything like that. And then it just runs under the car and then it goes into where the spare tire is. Nice. So, like if you, if I popped the chunk, you'd never see the bottle inside. You'd never see the bottle. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, uh, yeah, the drivability is probably bang on. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's the only mod that you're not allowed to have yeah. working on the roads because it's considered stunt driving if you have nitrous. Yes. Like you can have your supercharger, pro charger and mm -hmm. your turbos. They're, that's fine. But like as soon as you put nitrous on, stunt driving, they yank the car right off the road. Right, right. So, but so I just have the line disconnected in the back anytime I'm traveling because yes. like, I have to have the nitrous with me. Like yeah. if they ever pull me on, over on the street, you can't have that. Well, how am I supposed to get to the track? Yes, 100%. Like, I'm just exactly. not going to leave my bottle at the track and then just drive and go pick it up. Yeah. What else work have you done with this baby? The just, whole thing. Just, just give me the whole thing. Just bolt-ons. Like, yeah. It's got uh, custom exhaust by Hot Rods and Toronto. Hot Rods got? So, okay, yeah. okay, okay. I was uh, the first person from Ottawa down at their shop. Nice. So uh, that was about seven years ago. Yeah. Just got cold air uh, tune. Uh, the nitrous tune. So you're saying you didn't do much work. You added some nitrous, yep. and you're running 12 seconds. Yeah, it can it can, <laughs> it can go better. I know it can go better. Oh yeah, fact, for sure. I'm still playing with it. Like uh, the tuner I have is out of the states, so yeah. Like one day I get on the dyno and I get some uh, some data. I send it to him, and he tweaks it and gives it back. And then uh, my buddy owned a dyno and carp, so I had availability to go anytime I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's moved, amazing. He moved to Toronto though. Yeah. He's a mobile dyno. Yeah. And he's a uh, wait. You said mobile. Mobile dyno. Yeah. He goes anywhere. Yeah, he's a hub dyno. He goes anywhere. He's Did got you have a, his he card? Is, because I think we can. Bring... I believe if you go on Instagram, it's uh, light light touch tuning. Light touch tuning. His, okay. his name is uh, Donald Lightfoot. Mm, mm. And uh, good guy. Um, he for a hundred bucks, he'd give me the dyno for an hour. Do as many pulls oh. as we can. Uh oh. So, yeah, was... <laughs> That's the wrong information we need. <laughs> Some dangerous and I, stuff. And I trust his numbers. Like this car, NA made three sixty five. That's amazing. And it's got yeah. 240 on it, so like I can't see the tire not or the car like the motor not being tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, with a, like a fresh tune-up and a bunch of other stuff, I'm pretty sure this would run pretty stout in the 11s. Like <laughs> I changed the rear setup to 18 instead of 17s. I had 17s before, so yeah. I'm hoping I can get a little more mile an hour out of the 18s. Yeah. Because I could 60 foot phenomenal with the 17s, but yeah. I already. Yeah. 60 foot very nice so just the way the gear uh, shift rate is yeah so it works nice i need the top end uh, to pull to pull more. in yeah because when i hit about third gear like i'm crossing the the quarter just shy of like 210 yeah, yeah so yeah. i know it's got more in it i know it can do more so it's only trapping right now i believe 100 115 yeah, yeah. In, the, in the quarter so it's it should have 120 in it so. what gear do you hit the nos at what do you think i uh, I basically wait till I know I'm getting traction and then I press the button. Oh, right away. Yeah. You're like, in it to like win. Pretty much, if I had to guess the rotations of the tire, it'd probably be about three to four rotations. Cause really? Right away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. most guys actually make fun of me because I don't spare the hole. Mm. Like, well, I don't have the. Um, well, you gotta wait till you have traction. Well, they have a, a right? device you can install. I'm trying to remember the name of it right now. Um, Anyways, what it does is if it senses slip yeah. in your rear wheels, it'll actually dial back the nitrous on you so that you're not just spinning with 125 shot and blow your rear That's end. what everyone needs then. Uh, right? I'm trying to remember what that's called. It's um, Anyways, it, it's part of kits when you buy them, like Nitrous Express would have it there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you could either like ramp the nitrous, you know, like when you hit certain RPMs, you can ramp it in or yeah, you yeah. can hit it right away. I hit it right away. I did have it in here. 
So when I hit it, it actually took a couple seconds before it sucked into the intake. Oh, and then you had a huge boost. And, and, <laughs> and then it would go, like you'd press the button and it would, you know, it'd be milliseconds yeah, yeah. difference. But now the plate is behind the throttle body. Oh, you had it in so front. Like, okay, yeah. So now it's instant. Like second I press up. I button, didn't know there's two options. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this is just a nozzle system. Yeah. Um, it's just a generic style. And then you can buy the plate and the plate mounts right onto your intake. So it just, right away, it's right down the throat.